Christian psychologists talk about three stages in kind of just human psychological development, construction, deconstruction, reconstruction. Construction is your childhood, like you construct a worldview, a set of moral norms, a way of being in the world, but then you get into your 20s, you go out into the big wide world, you realize a whole bunch of people think differently than you, live differently than you, start with a whole different set of assumptions about right, wrong, good, evil, what is the good life, and, and you often see how the world has corrupted the worldview that you were handed. And so then there's this kind of angsty question everything. What do I even believe? It's disorienting. It's emotional. It's hard. It's related to your family of origin, the church you grew up in. There's this deconstruction moment. What people don't realize is if you stay there, you just live in cynicism and limbo. You can't commit your life to anything. You can't make a meaningful contribution to the world. The mature kind of move is toward reconstruction, where you come back with, there's a French philosopher who called it a second naivete. Some people hate that language. I love it. This like, like second kind of childlikeness where you're wise and you're street wise and you bend down the rabbit hole and you understand the mystery, the complexity, and you can hold, for example, Christian orthodoxy with deep conviction, but without this like hubris or dogmatic thinking or easy believism or binary thinking kind of thing. And there's just so few stage three people in the world. All of the strong, mature, older Christians I know in Portland and other progressive cities have been through deconstruction and have come out still strong, like more, you know, committed disciples of Jesus, but they hold it differently. They're way less sectarian. They don't identify with one particular Christian tribe very often. They're more devoted to prayer and they're comfortable saying, I don't have all the answers and I don't get it all, but I'm following Jesus.